radar cameras become a new tool to fight speeding on Wisconsin roads. Tonight, Green Bay City Finance Committee is asking state lawmakers to take up this controversial topic. NBC 26's Billy Wagness is live at 10 with a look at what's fueling the discussion. Stacy, as it stands, state law prohibits the use of speed cameras or red light cameras anywhere in Wisconsin. But tonight, the Green Bay Finance Committee approved a resolution asking state lawmakers to reconsider that decision. Speed cameras generally work by targeting the speed of a car and through IDing a license plate number, sending a ticket in the mail straight to offenders. We need to reduce the speeding here. District 4 Alderman Tim DeWayne, who proposed the resolution, says calls to his office about speeders in his district are a regular thing. It's getting worse as far as calls. We need to do something about this. And he isn't alone. Just today, uh, I received a phone call. Our biggest complaint when we do our community surveys on a yearly basis is traffic. It, a lot of people would think it'd be something else, but it's traffic. Police Captain Paul Abel says his department works hard to target areas with high traffic complaints. But the problem is widespread and especially concerning on neighborhood streets. When they don't want to wait for a stoplight, they go through the, uh, the fastest way pa possible. And they're going 40, 45 miles an hour at times. But 13 states currently have laws banning their use, including Wisconsin, most often citing invasion of privacy issues. So uh, from a police perspective, we'll wait for the state to decide what they want to do. Making this fight more of an uphill battle. Now, highway experts say 12 states currently use speed cameras in at least one location. Fines can range from $40 a ticket to 1000 bucks a ticket, depending on the state. Billy Wagness, NBC 26. So what do you think of this idea? Our Facebook friends are sounding off tonight. Stephen says, you're going to have to prove I was driving the vehicle if you're going to expect me to pay. While Megan writes, this is an invasion of privacy and a waste of money. You can join the conversation by going to our NBC26 Facebook page.